हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विराज वेलकम टू जी एस कोर लेट अस लर्न अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन करंट अफेयर्स आज का इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स टू डेज इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एंड लेट अस एनालाइज देम फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ प्रिलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट अस गो टू टॉपिक्स ऑफ द डे तो टॉपिक्स ऑफ द डे में फर्स्ट इज इंडिया फ्रांस मिलिट्री रिलेशन France, very important ally of India, especially as a weapon supplier. Then we have IRDAI lifting age ban on health insurance. The topic is important from economy and governance point of view. Avian influenza in Kerala. Avian influenza, one of the favorite topics of UPSC when it comes to prelims. Simple questions they are asking on it, or and they have been asking on it. Then we have Australia's national defense strategy and India. all right special mention has been made for india and that too in favorable terms and then we have who approving new oral vaccine for cholera cholera one of the most harmful diseases in the world pehla topic dekhte hain let us see the first topic india france military relations now this particular topic is in news because chief of defense staff that is general anil chauhan has been on official visit to france actually he has been visiting europe he is visiting europe most important country he is visiting from india's point of view is france so what he will be doing in france first and foremost he will be strengthening india's defense defense ties with france second that is the core theek okay, hai this is basically the core second what he will be also doing is he will be meeting the chief of french army and also and also addressing the students at the military academy of france col military yeah the military academy of france next thing that we also have noted is he will be visiting three important weapons manufacturers in france that is safran group naval group naval group and dassault aviation dassault aviation is the same jisse humne rafal rafal kharida hai aur we have brought rafal from this particular country dassault aviation uh general chauhan will also be will also be visiting two war memorials theek hai first is noe chapel and second is villers guslen now these two war memorials are important because yaha pe yaha pe there is mention of indian soldiers who perished during the first world war whose bodies could not be found whose bodies could not be चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ ऑफ इंडिया इज इन फ्रांस एंड ही इज देर टू स्ट्रेंथन द डिफेंट डिफेंस टाइज strengthen the defense ties so we will look into what has been the history of india france defense relations will not go uh, that much into history will not see since 1947 because it is not that important from prelims point of view we will see the recent history so first and foremost what do we note over here is one of the documents and that is horizon 2047 what is this horizon 2047 horizon 2047 is basically commitment <coughs> commitment to back each other in scientific cooperation and recently that is this year in 2024 what has been done scientific cooperation ke de definition mein in the definition of scientific cooperation defense sector was also included so now there will be cooperation scientific cooperation from the point of view of defense also theek hai second uh, what i would like to state over here is that both the countries in or through this horizon 2047 what they are doing is they are focusing on developing advanced aeronautical technology which will support which will support combat aircraft engine fifth generation fifth generation combat aircraft engine such agreement of jointly <coughs> manufacturing fifth generation combat engine or fifth advanced aeronautical technology india at this point of time only has with us 
and the terms with respect to the agreement with France are more favorable. More favorable. The reason for that is France is providing us. France is basically providing us complete transfer of technology. Transfer of technology matlab. The technology that France will bring in, in this cooperation, India can keep that technology. India can keep that technology. Now look, when a company brings in a technology for defense cooperation, what basically happens is that technology can be used only for that project. For example, France ne koi technology laya with respect to sonar and with respect to and from the point of view of cooperation, what happens is India and France build a submarine. All right. Now, India cannot use this technology in another weaponry of its. India cannot manufacture any weapon based on this technology, but France is providing us this opportunity. This is an exception. Or kitna technology hum log rakh sakte apne paas? 100%. All the technology that France will use from its side, we can keep all of it. That is, that is actually favorable for us. All right. Again. This project that is fifth generation aircraft wala project na, that we are talking about, it will include India's DRDO and France's Safran Enterprise. All right. Also, India has inducted French Rafale into its air force. This is actually an old news, but then Rafale are considered very important from India's point of view. They are one of the most advanced jets used in South Asia. France has agreed to cooperate in <coughs> Indian multi role helicopter program in this what we will be doing is we will be building so indian government has projected itself to build heavy helicopters heavy helicopters okay france will help us build engine to these helicopters all right france basically has france basically has subscribed to india's Project of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Theke, to France is supporting India's self-reliance. And therefore, most of the projects that these two countries will work on together will, will be, will be, you know, executed in India rather than France. One more thing, three Scorpion submarines will be jointly built by Moscow Dog Limited and Naval Group France. Now, this is in addition to six Scorpion class submarines that are already been built. Some of them, some of the submarines have been completed. Taken. Now, this Scorpion class submarines are diesel based submarines. Diesel ka matlab ye nahi hai. Diesel engine submarines. That does not mean they are in any way substandard. In fact, they are Scorpion submarines that France and India is building together at Moscow in Mumbai. They are one of the most advanced submarines in the world today. All right. India and France have also signed agreement regarding provisional reciprocal logistical support. Now, what is it? It is basically providing each other sports <coughs> or for that matter, any logistical support, any logistical support in times of need. Take him. So, <coughs> When it comes to, you know, refueling, refueling of the ships, providing rations, spares, berthing facilities, maintenance of warships, maintenance of military aircrafts, maintenance of troops. In this, what will happen is India and France will provide reciprocal help. Reciprocal help. So, if they need assistance in Indian Ocean, we will provide it to them. If they need assistance in Indian airspace, if their air force needs assistance in Indian airspace, we will provide it to them and in the same way, France will do it for India. This year on Republic Day Parade, French President was our chief guest. He came and on his arrival in Delhi, what happened was two countries, two countries promised collaboration, promised collaboration with each other and the title of the document which promised collaboration is co-design and co-development. Now, here na, what we are seeing is there are there is specific focus on two areas. First is military hardware, development of military hardware. And second is cooperation in space. France is one of the closest countries to us when it comes to space research. Okay. 
now it is getting even more closer than russia russia at one point of time was russia at one point of time was uh, our ally when it came to it is still our ally when it comes to space exploration but basically france again has you know has moved beyond expectations and helped us and assisted us beyond expectation in 2021 if we consider if we consider the report of stockholm international <clears throat> with respect to 2021 what it stated was 50 percent of arms exports by france comes to india that how important india has become for france and that how that is how important france has become <clears throat> That is how important France has become for India. All right. Now moving to a question that we should consider based on the current affairs. Consider the following statements about New Old Chapel Memori Memorial and Willer Lucian Memorial. Okay. They have been built to commemorate, <coughs> commemorate sacrifices made by Allied soldiers in World War One. Absolutely correct. Both memorials are exclusively dedicated to Indian soldiers. Nahin. Okay. This one is for Indians. This has been built for Indian and Nepali soldiers, not just Indian. Okay. First statement is correct. Second is false. How many of the, which of the statements <coughs> are correct? So, only one, A only one. That will be the correct answer. Second, IRDAI, lifts age ban on health insurance, very important. Okay. Basically, insurance sector of India is moving towards reform. And this is one of the reforms that is taking place. Okay. And India basically is a huge market for insurance. Hardly 10% of Indians are insured in any way. So there is a huge market. There is a huge population base which has still not come under the umbrella of insurance. Insurance is also important because insurance is one of those financial products. Jisko subscribe karne se, we will say there is financial inclusivity. There is financial inclusivity. Okay, important financial products are used by our population. Okay, so let us now see. Let us basically now see about IRDAI and the age ban that it has lifted. So IRDAI has lifted age cap on purchasing health insurance. Okay, now a person of any age basically, any age can purchase input insurance earlier before this notification of 1st august what did we see a person above the age of 65 was kept away from taking health insurance so a person above the age of 65 could not take health insurance now that has changed that has basically changed second thing it has also allowed companies this particular notification that i am talking about this particular notification that i am talking about 1st April 2024 wala notification. What it also does is, it was, <coughs> it was earlier, ki aapko dena hai ek umbrella insurance. Now what has been done is, through this particular notification that we are focusing, companies can now focus on or provide tailor-made insurance to senior citizens, students, children, uh, maternity uh, maternity groups and other groups. Okay. So now what can be done is tailor made insurance can be provided. So specific needs of population can be satisfied and therefore what will happen and therefore what basically will happen is companies will have better chance of gaining clients. All right. This is actually market oriented. Jaisa customer, vaisa product. Next, next. Also, what has been done is also what has been done is from the point of view of those suffering severe medical conditions, they should not be discriminated. Not, they should not be discriminated now. So, if a person has serious health conditions like cancer, health and renal failure or AIDS, HIV AIDS, they cannot be kept away from the benefits of health insurance. Obviously, obviously companies will have that freedom of creating insurance contracts 
according to condition of patients. All right. Waiting period has been brought down from 48 months to 36 months. What is waiting period? Waiting period is that amount of time in which if the settlement is not made or a proper answer is not provided to the subscribers, then the insurance money is due. So, for example, if I claim insurance and in 48 months, company does not respond to me. Company does not respond. When I say does not respond, it means it is neither providing me insurance, it is neither providing me insurance money, nor it is telling me that it will not provide me insurance money. Okay. That basically is waiting period. So, first this waiting period was 48 months. Now, it has been brought to 36 months. All right. And if the waiting period is over and if the company claims key, there is some pre-existing condition which was not mentioned by the subscriber. Pre-existing condition matlab, for example, if I had, if I have heart disease hai, and I take up insurance and while taking up insurance, I do not mention, I do not mention. Hai, in that case, in that case, company is not liable to pay me for health insurance whenever I need it, if, if I need it. Now, with respect to pre-existing condition, with respect to pre-existing condition, what will now happen? What will basically now happen? In 36 months, company basically has to respond. If company does not respond in 36 months, as we have noted, and after 36 months, it said, it says that the subscriber had pre-existing conditions and hence will not pay the subscriber, IRDA will say not done. Not done. Thik hai, aap ye nahi kar sakte, aapko paisa to dena hi hoga. Wo bhi pura ka pura. You will have to pay the whole amount of money to the subscriber. Thik hai, done with this. Other thing is that, other thing is that, uh, companies will now have to, companies will now have to provide only benefit based policy, not indemnity. indemnity based policy what is benefit based policy benefit based policy is where hospitalization is compulsorily covered all right hospitalization is compulsory covered indemnity based policy is basically where where hospitalization may or may not be covered based on based on certain circumstances which which mainly the customers are not aware. Okay. So now compulsorily the health insurance has to be benefit based policies. All right. Now with respect to IIDA, IIDA is the regulator of insurance sector. Insurance sector. Okay. So lo, it is RBI of insurance sector. Like RBI is to banking, IIDA is to insurance sector. So let us talk about it. It is basically an autonomous and statutory body under the jurisdiction of Ministry of Finance, Government of India. So, remember this statutory body. Alright, it is a statutory body. What is it tasked with? I have written two of the most important tasks. It is tasked with regulating and licensing insurance and reinsurance industry in India. Okay. Also, it is the responsibility of IRDA to protect the interest and secure for fair treatment for policyholders. One more you can say. Take it. So, it has to see to it that policyholders are not cheated. They are not cheated upon. Also, with respect to IRDAI, also with respect to IRDAI, remember, it is also the duty of IRDAI to see to it that insurance as a sector of economy expands and more Indians are covered through insurance products, through insurance products. Okay. Now let us look at the question. Consider the following. Only a person above age 80 can subscribe to health insurance in India. Nahi. After the notification of 1st April, this is not the case. Insurance companies in India have been permitted to refuse their health insurance product from being subscribed by the people with medical conditions like heart disease and cancer. Again, this is not the case. Third statement, insurance sector in India is regulated by RDA. We have, such, we have just seen that it is true. 
तो हाउ मेनी स्टेटमेंट आर बेसिकली करेक्ट ओनली वन स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट द आंसर इज ए ओनली वन ठीक है नाउ मूविंग टू एवियन इन्फ्लुएंजा टूडेज वीडियो इज यू टू प्रो हेल्थ एंड प्रो डिफेंस बेसिकली ओके एवियन इन्फ्लुएंजा हैज हैज यू नो ब्रो हैज इट हैज सीन एन एक्सप्लोजन आई वुड से इन केरला एक्सप्लोजन इन केरला ठीक है एंड देर इज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ प्लानिंग पैनिक नॉट प्लानिंग पैनिक एंड वॉट वी हैव सीन इज द नेबरिंग स्टेट्स ऑफ तमिलनाडु एंड कर्नाटक दे हैव स्टार्टेड दे हैव स्टार्टेड क्रिएटिंग बाउंड्री बैरिकेड्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू Kerala, why? Because poultry from Kerala, poultry from Kerala is prohibited from entering into these two states. Now let us look at. Now let us basically look at what is avian influenza and what basically is the news. Okay. All right. So there is an outbreak of bird flu. Bird flu. basically is avian influenza and it is caused by virus which is termed as h1n5 all right <clears throat> it is termed as h1n5 what does it do it creates a scenario where severe illness in poultry is seen this particular virus can be occasionally transmitted into humans occasionally theek okay? and other mammals also for the first time this virus was identified in china in the late 90s late 90s but for the first time transmission into humans was seen in hong kong all right now how does it spread how does how does it basically spread it spreads to contact with infected animal fluid such as saliva respiratory droplets and feces theek hai initially it affects the upper respiratory tracts lungs all right and then it may affect the lower respiratory tract and also other organs of the body hence whenever whenever testing is done na upper respiratory tract is first looked into if you take into consideration does eating poultry or chicken in poultry or eggs affect or transmit the disease yet yes it does but properly cooked poultry and eggs do not pose the risk of transmission because the virus dies because of the heat all right virus dies because of the heat normally what happens is the poultry which is infected or which is thought to be infected is killed and thrown away mostly buried not thrown away killed and buried all right what are the symptoms in humans when it comes to avian flu first symptom is fever then we have cough sore throat running and running or stuffy nose muscle or body ache headaches fatigue difficulty in breathing not no need to remember all of them take okay, a just focus on fever cough this is most important this is second most important this is third most important theek okay, hai other than that upsc may not go get into in fact symptoms upsc does not ask i am just preparing you for even any eventuality all right this particular disease may also lead to diarrhea in some cases nausea and vomiting which will cause which will cause dehydration dehydration theek okay. hai uh precautionary measures now this upsc has been interested in over the period of time in prelims examination when it comes to a particular disease it is more interested in precautionary measures theek okay. hai so what has to be done avoiding contact with sick bird sick birds then it is important to maintain good hygiene and if poultry is consumed then it has to be it has to be cooked thoroughly also hand washing has to be given adequate importance now this is the question that was once asked by upsc hence i am taking it to show you what type of what type of questions basically come to the mind of paper setters when it comes to diseases to ek to hai symptoms ka question first is symptoms second is precautionary measures third is what and how 
effect of disease how disease affects but most common is asking about the virus group or the nomenclature of the virus so bird flu is caused by which of the following virus we have just seen it is h1n5 all right again defense comes into play national defense strategy and india so in australia's national defense strategy what has Indi what has australia said that india is a top tier security partner and india's cooperation is very important practical and tangible cooperation matlab actual trend cooperation is very important for the two countries to contribute to the security and stability of Indo-Pacific. For the security and stability of Indo-Pacific. What basically is Indo-Pacific? It is the water body from water body that is ocean from combined ocean from eastern coast of Africa. to western coast of america of north america that is what indo pacific is more specifically you say then it is it is basically the area around indian ocean area that covers indian ocean that is south of india waters that are south to india and south china sea i am not saying that this is the only definition but i am saying most of the focus when we talk about indo pacific now it is indian ocean and south china sea chalo let us look into it now so the government of anthony albanese the prime minister of australia it released it basically released national strategy national defense strategy now this is the first national strat defense strategy of australia australia more or less has not been in any dispute as such big dispute with any country since second world war okay they hardly have any neighbors their only neighbor is new zealand all right australia will be seeking opportunities from india to drive bilateral and multilateral cooperation with respect to defense industry and information sharing defense industry and information sharing all right so they are looking at a comprehensive cooperation deal comprehensive cooperation deal okay the defense strategy the national defense strategy aims to bluster australian defense forces bluster the australian defense forces deterrence and war fighting capability in indo pacific that is they want to make their defense forces more capable or they want their defense forces to be taken seriously by their adversaries especially china all right and for the purpose of doing it what it will do it will build key partnership key and strong partner uh, they will build strong partnerships with important countries which they consider ally including india other countries are also there we will look into them <coughs> India and Australia also have comprehensive strategic partnership between them. All right, through it what happens? Through it what happens? We are already we are already cooperating with the island country for for the stability of Indo-Pacific waters. Okay, Australia though expects more now. The national defense strategy. What it will also do is it will bring in new key partners. And which are the new key partners? it is apart from india it is japan and south korea but it does not stop over there okay it basically does not stop over there in fact australia is trying to bring in or we envisions bringing in sri lanka maldives and bangladesh also because these areas have good presence they are actually strategically located good locations they have when it comes to when it comes to navigating through or having an eye over indian ocean now why is it necessary indian ocean kyu zaruri hai and security and why does australia you know need the security of indian ocean first and foremost australia is an island country theek hai so its own existence depends upon depends upon the freedom of navigation that it has in seas around it second is with respect to the lines of communication 
तो इफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया लूजेस कंट्रोल और इफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया एडवर्सरी गेन कंट्रोल ओवर दिस लाइन ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वॉट विल है ऑस्ट्रेलिया विल बी आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड Isolated from the world, when it we say that it is militarily and economically both dangerous. ठीक है. Other key partners, Japan तो है, South Korea है, India है. But other than that, Australia also wants to bring in to a certain extent countries like Indonesia. Then we have UK, France, Germany, New Zealand, Singapore, Malaysia and Philippines. No need to remember so many countries. जस्ट रिमेंबर किसकी चाइना के साथ नहीं बनती है उन सबकी इनके साथ बनती है ठीक है चाइना के साथ तो बेसिकली स्पीकिंग इन इन साउथ चाइना सी एंड इंडियन ओशन मोस्ट ऑफ द कंट्रीज आर डू नॉट कॉन्कर विद द व्यूज ऑफ चाइना अदर देन फ्यू ठीक है अदर देन पाकिस्तान और हियर एंड देर स्मॉलर कंट्रीज अदर देन देम नो बडी कॉन्कर्स विद दम बट स्टिल जस्ट रिमेंबर दोज कंट्रीज हु ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम हैव डेवलप शॉर्ट टेस्ट फॉर चाइना According to Australia, what is the biggest threat? Biggest threat in biggest threat with respect to South China Sea or with respect to Indo-Pacific, it is it is with respect to Taiwan Strait. Now here, pe the enmity between Communist China, Communist China and Taiwan, and Taiwan Republic of China. There are two Chinas. Now one is Communist China and other is and other is democratic republic of china so taiwan is democratic republic of china and both of them claim that they are real china okay and this has been has happening from the last 70 years 70 75 years all right so what does it make what does it what does it lead to what may it lead to it may lead to a flash point it may basically lead to a flash point okay other thing that in a way concerns australia is the dispute that china has with india in fact it has written china has with india in fact it has been written in the strategy report that india and china ko manage karna padega otherwise otherwise what may happen is an unpleasant situation may develop all right australia remember in a way is a pacifist country it has been a pacifist country it has remain away from dispute but now because china has come so close to its shores and there is and there is basically a feeling that ki australia's national security might get compromised and hence hence australia has come up with this strategy india and australia have if we talk from defense point of view na mutual logistic support arrangement All right. What does it do? It allows both the countries to use each other's logistical support. All right. Now, if you take into consideration India and Australia, now we have to also know that China's aggression is bringing, is more or less bringing the two country together. Because both of them individually, अगर हम लोग देखें तो उनका इकोनॉमी इतना नहीं है. so a group has to be formed a group has to be formed which can counter china and yaha pe the group group is basically quad i'm so sorry with my spelling it is basically quad which consists of india us japan and australia it is a grouping and this grouping states that they are working towards maintaining maintaining freedom of navigation of navigation in south china sea which is part of indo pacific which is basically part of indo pacific all right सो so, इसमें से एक कंट्री के साथ तो हम लोग थोड़ा नजदीक और आ गए इनफैक्ट दिस कंट्रीज टूगेदर बिकॉज ऑफ द कंसर्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू चाइना वॉट डू दे डू इज दे परफॉर्म मिलिट्री एक्सरसाइज कॉल्ड एज बलबार रिमेंबर दिस एक्सरसाइज ऑल्सो ठीक है लेट अस सी अ क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अबाउट ऑस्ट्रेलिया नेशनल डिफेंस स्ट्रेटेजी द स्ट्रेटेजी पोर्ट्रेज इंडिया टू बी 
the top security partner of Australia. Absolutely correct. It requires Australia to double its defense spending over the next one decade. Yes, this is also correct. So at this point of time, at this point of time, Australia's defense budget is around fifty billion dollars. ठीक है, Australian dollars. It the strategy wants Australian government to take it to hundred. All that to almost done. Okay, Australia considers the region between Taiwan to be risk and conflict prone. Absolutely, absolutely, there is no doubt about it. So, what is the answer? All three is the answer. All three, all three statements are correct. Is the answer. Now, coming to WHO, an organization quite old now. All right, what it has done is it has come up with a vaccine. a new vaccine which can be administered orally for those areas for the for the people children belonging to those areas which is infected by cholera infected by cholera uh, at this point of time now there are 23 countries in which cholera has seen an outbreak most of these countries are located in the continent of africa All right. What do we see with respect to cholera? We see, we see that there are massive number of deaths. All right. Second, there is economic ramification. There are economic ramifications. All right. There are also issues with respect to supply of medicines when it comes to cholera. so this particular oral vaccine what it will do is it will to a certain extent solve the problem of availability of vaccines all right availability of vaccines and it will help in saving a lot of life if we consider about the disease itself cholera ke bare mein agar hum log padhe to what is it it is a diarrheal infection that means the person will suffer from diarrhea and that diarrhea will lead to dehydration dehydration all right which may cause in death of a human also cholera though it is not as well spread or widely spread as it used to be still it is a global threat to public health all right and if you look in the areas in which it is spreading now it will mostly spread in poor countries and if you take into consideration if you take into consideration rest of the world na it will affect poor colonies poor colonies around the world also so it is not confined to poor countries itself it can happen in other countries also for example it can happen in us also it can happen in happen in you know india also india in that way is not poor okay we are moving towards being a middle group country So it can happen in India also, but the location will be very specific. All right, it is extremely dangerous disease that causes acute water watery diarrhea. Okay, through which severe dehydration happens. Severe dehydration happens. Okay. Ah, uh, other problem with respect to it is it is detected quite late. That is, it can be detected from twelve hours to five days. Anything in between. the earlier you detect it the detected the better it is because curing it curing it becomes relatively easy it affects both children and adult and it has the potential of killing them within no time most people infected by vibrio cholerea do not show the do not show any symptoms although Although bacteria is present in their feces from one to ten days, so in spite of having in infection, na what we see is what we see is uh, the infection is not shown on the body. All right, ठीक है. Cholera basically basically can be both found in epidemic and endemic zone. Endemic are basically those countries from where. countries from where 
बोलेरा स्टार्टेड ठीक है और एग्जिस्ट एंडेमिक आर बेसिकली दोस कंट्रीज वेर कोलेरा हैज स्प्रेड लेटर वेर कोलेरा बेसिकली हैज स्प्रेड बेटर ठीक है व्हाट इज गुड अबाउट कोलेरा कोलेरा फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज प्रेडिक्टेबल एंड इट इज आल्सो प्रिवेंटेबल ठीक है दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू कोलेरा एज फार एज इवन सर कंसर्न एज फार एज इवन सर कंसर्न एंड व्हाट शुड बी डन to be away from cholera first and foremost assess yourself to clean water drinking and sanitation facilities it is also important to maintain good personal hygiene good personal hygiene theek okay, hai now this two this two steps also can save a lot of life that is you know using proper water and using proper sanitation okay that can also save a lot of life okay so let us now look into the news itself consider the following uvacuol s is a oral vaccine provided to prevent a person from being infected by cholera absolutely right it uses weaken version of vibrio cholera virus nahi it is not a virus it is bacteria third cholera causes severe dehydration through diarrhea yes we have seen that also happen so yahan pe first and third statements are correct second statement is wrong so how many statements are correct only two b is the right answer guys all right friends thank you so much it was it is always nice talking to you we'll meet soon we'll discuss more current affairs we'll educate ourselves more uh so see you and if there are any issues with respect to understanding or if you have doubt in current affairs please write down a comment we'll respond bye thank you